My name is Elizabeth Francisco and I'm the writer and director of Roba Alma. Now, although completely fictional, Roba Alma is very much inspired by the neighborhood of Boca Sami. It is where my roots lie. My mother uh, was born and raised there and I spent a lot of my childhood and I, uh, there growing up. I still go there all the time to visit family. So I really wanted to make a film that celebrates uh, their way of life and culture. So that's what inspired it. Roba Alma is, I love that title. In English, it's translated into thieving soul. And how it ties into the film's narrative and themes, I would say you would have to watch the film to figure that out. One of the memorable, most memorable moments for me was, first of all, how much fun we had on set. I don't think I'm gonna ever have so much fun on another set because the people of Boca Sami are very special and hilarious. So it was also nice for me to watch all crew members be immersed in that culture, learn a lot. A lot of the sayings that we have in the neighborhood that you don't have anywhere else in Curacao, it was a true joy and it gave me a feeling like I'm on the right path. So hopefully the audience will see that as well. Initially, my idea was to create a feature for it. Um, I started this process in late 2020 during COVID. Um, it was during an online course with about 30 filmmakers from all over the Caribbean. And then you need to look for funding, which about eight months later I got, and I could keep developing the story. So for me, uh, it was very challenging just, even though I knew what I wanted to tell, just to find a rhythm of it. Because my idea was that if I can't make it a feature, then I want to make a short film that feels like a feature. And those are very different ways of filmmaking. So I wanted to do something that is kind of hard to do. And how I overcame that was by just asking people for advice, having people read my story and giving me feedback. And I kept shaping and shaping my role as the writer and director is to just create art and it's gonna live its own life but one thing i do hope is for you to learn a little bit more about the culture of Bokasami and to be more open to it and just to be mesmerized by the for instance the funny use of language and just very traditional things in in that neighborhood Film festivals are essential for the growth of a filmmaker. I got my start with uh, the 48 Hour Film Festival and then later at the Curacao International Film Festival. Back then it used to be tied to Rotterdam. Those moments are really important in setting me up for the future. So it's very important to showcase your work, for other people to see it, to connect with other filmmakers and to be in that environment. So. It's very, very essential for the career of a filmmaker.